I mean, we're going to lead off with the number one overall prospect in the country being on LSU's campus last weekend, and that's Bryce Underwood. And and we talked a lot about him earlier, but I did talk with his dad uh, just this morning, um, finally getting a visit recap. And it was just a really special visit for this family. Uh, they got a chance to be in Baton Rouge for his wife's birthday, uh, for Bryce's mom's birthday, Beverly. And they spent it at the top of Tiger Stadium, uh, being able to take that in. They did a photo shoot. The whole staff was there for the most part and and just really laid out their plan and and got to build that relationship even more. And President Tate uh, met with the family for 30, 45 minutes. It was just a really good visit overall. I, I think you could see him pop up or pop down, I should say, to LSU for a game since he hasn't done that. But he's also going to visit the likes of Alabama, Georgia, Oregon, USC, and others from what uh, he's told his dad told me. Yeah, I think the biggest thing here is people had wondered two things, and I, and I think you got those answers out of your story, Billy, from talking to the dad. One is Bryce going to decide tomorrow or the next day. Like quarterback dominoes can often fall early. That won't be the case, as you noted. They want to make some visits this fall to see games. Then they want to see where things really stand. So I'll start the calendar at next January and let it go all the way up until his senior year, really, because. I think they want to be able to use this time to see more about each college. The other question was, is LSU really in it? And his dad said it. LSU has cemented itself as one of the top teams. We've heard the buzz that it might be LSU. Michigan is those two top teams, but a lot of colleges in the mix here. A lot of colleges will continue to recruit him. As we noted on the last podcast, one of the best college or excuse me, high school quarterback prospects to come out in recent years. He's, just above and beyond in terms of IQ, what he's done on the field, production already, what he can do with his legs and arm, just a do-it-all five-star. Uh, and that's why he's a five-star plus. So I look forward to seeing where this goes with LSU. Uh, for me, they've done all – Joe Sloan, quarterback's coach, this staff, they've done what they can so far. They're putting themselves in a spot where he came down and visited again, second time in a few months, was here on his mom's birthday, was here on Father's Day weekend, and as his dad told you, it's just about building relationships right now. And Joe Sloan's done a great job with that. So do they get Bryce Underwood? I don't know. Bryce Underwood doesn't know where he's going to school right now. That is still at least six months off, if not many more months from there. But you want to be able to say, we're not playing from behind. We're not having to catch up. Right now, Bryce Underwood's dad is telling you LSU is one of his top teams. This visit cemented it in his words. That can't go any better for me then.